Hello and welcome back to my Mass Effect 3 first ever playthrough part 21. We are finishing off the Leviathan DLC in today's episode and I ended up having a really, really good time with this DLC. I thought it was super, super juicy. I thought the storyline was interesting. We get a lot of lore. We get to know where the Reapers actually come from, which is so awesome. Um, and I just, I really, I had a good time with it. I liked the characters. I liked the sexy doctor, may he rest. It was all a good time. So if you are excited to see me finish the Leviathan DLC, go ahead and click the like button down here. Here. And of course, as always, make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so you always know whenever I upload a video. We're going to be getting into the Omega DLC next, which is obviously a treat for me as an Omega Verse enthusiast. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to see me live playing games, I stream on www.twitch.tv forward slash Katie Cole 19 on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go ahead and get into it. It's a little bit of a longer episode today, but I hope you enjoy and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Bye. All right, let's go to Bryson's lab, baby. I'm learning like a lot about what other temperatures look like for other countries. And like it is, it, the expectation and the normal is really different everywhere. I love that we get these like long animations for entering and exiting. I'm kind of here for it. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After Ooh. a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. Ooh, interesting. Maybe if maybe the more exposure you have, the likelier you are to fall under indoctrination. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Yes. Agreed. Uh, Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. All right, let's look around. Let's strategize. Initial tests. Artifact tests negative for infrared and ultraviolet emissions. No gamma or X-ray det radiation detected. Artifact does not react to application of various stimuli. Internal readings inconclusive. No progress in determining age. Guess I stayed here all night finding out this thing isn't really important. Fell asleep at desk. Artifact is definitely inert and safe. Recommend keeping it here for reference. We should all be near it. Maybe more useful than Leviathan in long run. Recommend we abandon Hunt for Leviathan and seek more productive studies. <gasps> At this point, they were already indoctrinated, you know? Anything interesting about the artifact structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Where is she? Beyond that, oh. nothing of relevance. How are we... You hate to see it. You hate to see that. Project information. Oh, Andy, here we go. What project was Garno working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Basilisk? 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 Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forums describe it as overpowered. Not player forums Amazing saying project, it's OP! Oh. Then, no. There's wow. This artifact. Who is that? Is that his daughter or his wife? I'm inclined to think it's his daughter. I'm also still mad that we couldn't hit on him. He honestly was pretty hot. Dr. Bryson, per your request, pour one out. Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me your preliminary analysis. Several million years old, at least. And its technology outstrips anything on the council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the agility. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. Not great. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. 
There's no Leviathan of Dis. Are we sure? It's his sugar baby? <laughs> Either way, it's likely his baby girl. <laughs> Whether it's his wife, daughter, or sugar baby, still his baby girl. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, daughter. she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scara paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garneau on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. <gasps> she said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the map <gasps> yes. to narrow down her location. Yes. Yes, let's search for the clues. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, let's go find this daughter who also could just be his sugar baby, you know? I don't know. Maybe he never mind. Never mind. You know what? I'm not some thoughts are not meant to be said out loud. Can you identify this ED? It originates with a pre-space flight culture. But there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Ayo. Not beyond Leviathan itself. Creature? Not creature. Not the creature. If we actually get a Leviathan animation, I'll be pretty into it. Project Basilisk, team leader Alex Garneau. Interesting. And Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted. Of course not. Of course boom. not. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. <gasps> oh, is that the access card? Ao. Access card for the requisitions locker. Yes. yes. According hey. to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain. Hey, that head is looking at me. Scarab. Hey, that head is looking at me now. It was not looking that way. It was not looking at me before. <gasps> the head follows me. No. Did I never know that the head follows me? You can answer that. Has the head been following me this whole time? I don't think it has. Let's see what Ann Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Hello. Ayo. Water recycling equipment. Okay, we love to recycle our water. Didn't take breathing masks. Okay. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get okay. Filter for systems with compatible planets. Okay, seems good. Can I now go do this Icarus thing? The Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Loch Ness monster. Plesiosaur. Loch Ness monster's more interesting. I agree. And non-existent. You don't know that, Edie. You don't know that. Nessie could exist. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Here we go. <laughs> the ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay, we can rule out the relay system. That game is so Based hard. Search data. It is one of these two systems. Based on the data. Yes! Yes! Good. Let's go get Ann Bryson. Yes, let's get Ann Bryson. Let's let's go, girls. Turn to the Normandy. Let's go. Let's get it. In the words of John John Cook, let's get it. Lengthy animation, lengthy animation. And I oop, and I oop. Search successful. Scans have located a, cro a close grouping of environmentally shielded habitats and an active power source. Closer examination is required to confirm the dig site presence. Okay. We have located Anne Bryson's <gasps> dig site. 
I hate it here. I hate it here. So we got reports of an attack on an excavation site. I just see, I just like to hear his voice in scenarios like this. Like if I'm going in somewhere without knowing, going into an unknown situation, I just want to hear Garrus like seductively growling to me in that hot voice of his. That's really what I want to hear. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff Daddy? From the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Lofa. Daddy? That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional problems. Who knows what we'll find? Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostiles! Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform! Is that chocolate? No, it's not. That's her. That's that's Anne. From host. What the hell is that? Negative. It's too hot. Heading to lower platform. Hang on. Is that a Pegasus? Those look like Pegas Pegasuses. Pegasi. Pegasuses. Pegasi. Oh my god, there's literally so many of them. I'm just running. Besties, we're running. I'm coming down. No, stay where you are. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. It's too dangerous. We'll come to you. Yes, okay. You should take the elevator up on the far side. Copy that. We're on our way. Please hurry. I think Hopkins is dead. Who is Hopkins? You don't have to answer that. He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh, God. Yes, of course. Oh, thank God. Not this music. This music makes me nervous. Makes me feel like a major character is about to die. Why do they look like ponies? Like, they literally look like Pegasuses. I uh, was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Shepard, look. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes. Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any reaper we've seen before. Damn, I kind of thought it would be shaped like you found something recently. The Final artifact. Fantasy VIII Leviathan. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. What are they doing? They've activated this. I've never managed anything. Oh, no. No. They've learned to run. The darkness must not be breached. Shepard. Take it out. Got it. Thank God Garrus was there, because okay. he can snipe like nobody else. Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle? You run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. Are we just supposed to accept that she's good? That she's fine? Woo! We did it. We did it. <laughs> it's just hard. <laughs> Cortez is like, ma'am? Ma'am, ma'am, please board the ship. And I'm like, where do I go? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cortez. You deserve better. You deserve better.
You okay? Yeah, Commander. I I think so. I blacked out. Bestie, you didn't black out. You were Leviathan indoctrinated. I got the connection before you got hurt. <sighs> Leviathan itself? That's incredible. Not the right answer. Seems as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first, Doctor, I have some bad news. In, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never she is the so space, like a rogue or even a defector. She a little too I into have to this. Call my father. He'll want to know. Mm, babes. You need to listen to me, okay? Your father is dead. Sorry. He's what? Dead? He can't be dead. I mean, unfortunately, I witnessed it. And also, your father is really sexy, it has to be said. Thanks for the GGs, y'all. We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Yup. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next. He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Anne? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation and meet you there. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this girl. Ooh, FOMO. 21 years of playing, do magic, baby. That's what I'm saying. I gotta get on my training arc. I will say I'm much better at video games now than I was um, five years ago. I do think I've definitely made improvement in that regard. Hello? Anne? You here? Oh, it was her. I was right. What if Sexy Doctor is Leviathan? What if he died and became Leviathan? Oh, come here. That'd be really sexy. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. You all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. Classic. Argument. Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. It's so stupid. Uh, can we talk about how her eyeliner is like this beautiful iridescent color? We'd love to see it. That's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. But bestie, you are not okay. See <laughs> you all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. But he was but fine. Same way. He was a great man, a pioneer, but he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Ooh. Yes, girl. You go, girl. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. Yes, yeah, same. I'm so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. 
Seems like those didn't work out. Thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. Not the Rachni reference. Yes, Drakengard, yes. Have you studied the Rachni? Uh, the not like this. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the queen uses pheromones to give orders. Pheromones? At like long, Omega scenting? She uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Is, is that it? Oh, I have to move out of her way. I see. I see. I was I was blocking her from the extra dialogue. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Queen. Hey, Commander. Need a hand? Oh, James. What's up? What? James, what are you doing here? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. Okay. All right. Yeah, see, this head is different now. It be it be looking at James. I'm concerned. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact, but the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone, as it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. Okay, I see how it is. It's something in common. <laughs> Damn! This control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, Damn. which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site, the Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs. But he so sorry. hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Classic. Showed up still wearing his field gear. Well. God. He'd have hated dying here. Well, he's dead now, so. And I know this is hard. But if there's anything more you can tell us. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? Hello? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't Are know you? what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Okay. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne. <laughs> I love that James is just as hell. Noted. Edie. Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. I love that James is just here, like, hi my dude. Hello, hello. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. Let's do it. Yeah, Fuck right it. Here. Okay. What <laughs> James, she just met you. I don't think I'm that's ready. comforting. James? Drop the containment shield. I don't know if this is comforting. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. Ah! There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? Ah! No trace yet. Ah! Oh, hell. Signal is tracking. Main connection. <laughs> Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Why does it still sound like Anne? Main connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. Oh? So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. 
Do it. I'm up. I'm gonna I'm let him hit that shield. I think I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. And are you all right? Yes. I think so. Why didn't we just do you this the whole thing? time? <laughs> but it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Okay. Good. Five. To start. Commander. I sense something else. Anger. No shit. You're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come you on. think? Let's get you some help. Wouldn't be the first time something like massive and ethereal has wanted to murder me. Oh, see, it's watching me. This thing is. Oh, wait, no. Now it's just looking at the. Oh my god. Now it's just looking at the artifact. Oh, the head is just looking at the artifact. Oh my god. It's not following me anymore. What if I'm. What if I'm Leviathan? Bitter root root beer. Ooh, I'll have to try it. Okay, I, if if Leviathan just ends up being the hot doctor reincarnate. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? I'm down. I'm it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how uh, Anne helped us locate it. <laughs> it's pretty spooky stuff. Makes you wonder what we're going to find down there. Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Right. But then what? It plays pretty rough, and if it is a Reaper, I don't know that's the kind of help we want. Garrus, oh, my mans, you make so many good points. You are so correct. However... Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not going to like it. It's here. There's no. no ocean. What? We show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below. <gasps> way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Underwater mission? Yo. D oh my god, the ocean? Like, the Kodiak depths of the ocean scare me. Thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. <gasps> Dad, some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! No! Right no! Not us crashing in the fucking ocean! Oh, conveniently we crashed on a structure. Okay, I see. Oh, oh my god. Everyone alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Not our best entrance, Shepard. Ah! That's the shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Ah. Copy that. We'll look around. Look at all this. Whatever that pulse was, we're not the first to get hit. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. <gasps> Wait for shuttle repairs. Oh my goodness. Can't say I recognize any of those ships. Just how long have they been here? For eternities! Okay, we're clear. Woo! Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the Of course we're not going anywhere. I could have told you that. I could have told you that. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Yeah, gee, I think so too. I think so too. Not the meteor coming in here. Oh my god, not more of these husks. Oh, Liara, let's go. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's <gasps> oh, we get to go swimming! We get to go swimming! That's fun. Triton model, military grade, repurposed for deep sea exploration. As How convenient. Water has corroded, you should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Hold on a second. Are we actually <laughs> First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door Garrus is like, How? absolutely fucking not. I suppose we are. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. They use that was it for cute. emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. <gasps> Cortez, Best thanks, Bestie. Find somewhere to plug that in. Find somewhere to plug what in? Please trigger a cutscene. Good God, please trigger. Okay, we just gotta run for it. We just gotta run for it. We have literally one gel thing, meta gel left, and I am stressed. 
Okay, they're up. They're up. We're good. That is, yes, I agree. Okay. Can we go diving now? All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Listen, Chip. I'm all for crazy ideas, but this one's all <laughs> Garris, babes, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, trust me. Far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. That is actually okay, true. Seals, check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. Are they? As ready as I can make it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. I'll be fine. Oh. Closing hatch. Space husband is worried for us. Boo woo. God, I love him. Ready. God. Calm, Link. I read you. Here goes. Let's get it. Commencing dive in three, two, one. At least we have good firepower. If we're gonna be like this far, like if we're gonna be deep underwater, at least we have a good gun. You know what I'm saying? Cause like if we were just stuck with the normal guns underwater, I don't know how I'd feel about that. Also, how are we going to get Shepard out of the water? Looks good so far. Like, Copy can that. the thing dive up? No. Cortez. Cortez. No. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. If anybody is familiar with this game, if you could please let me know if I'm going to encounter underwater Rachni or Ravagers, I am asking for the answer to that. That would be great. Oh, this is so freaky. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want to go home. No. Thank you, King Z. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Oceanic. Oh, this is so freaky. Oh, look at that kelp. Just having a healthy swim. Nothing like a refreshing swim. Not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look, I'm here for I'm so here for Bruce. Okay. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. Final drop. Yes. Down below. Can't see anything just yet. What are we gonna see? Like, I'm really expecting something that literally looks like Leviathan from Final Fantasy VIII. That's where my expectations are. I'm gonna be real. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Hey. Oh. To come across Rapture. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, find Leviathan. That's it. That's the only. <laughs> uh, uh. What is Hello? That? What do you mean, what is that? What is what? Imagine if we thank you for the hydrate. Oh boy. King of the ocean. It literally looks like a squid. Hello? Ah! <gasps> oh! I had to find you. This is not your domain. You <gasps> the darkness. You killed a reaper. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that what? G Reaper. What are you? Don't answer that. <gasps> Does he yeet her out of the ocean? It's going to be the doctor. I know it's going to be the doctor. 
was happening. <gasps> was it her? Your memories give voice to our oh, world. okay. Never mind, I see what's happening. He is so big. The galaxy's at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Harvest. Help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. What? Are different. I have witnessed your actions in this. <gasps> the destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat. And I must understand why. Oh? at the end of this i think i'm gonna need like a cliff notes version of this i'm gonna be real but this is so this is the big guy from which reapers are created literally the essence like the first the first reaper basically there is no war in bossing say yeah basically you built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience why you cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will no i literally every cannot future, every nation every planet discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. <laughs> the intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. I think Javik would and love Leviathan. Price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a reaper. <gasps> Perfect in its design. Each form Each harvest image. ends in a reaper? Our image. Wait. Each reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles of greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. I think... Okay, so far my only question is that if you're harvesting, I think what they mean by harvesting is they kill everybody and then they make another reaper. But if you kill everybody, then there are no humans left to harvest for the next cycle. You can explain that to me. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been Rip. Rip. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. How did 
you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination is not complete. Exterminate. So I have found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop this cycle? They just said they wouldn't. Your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait. The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. They will survive. You will remain here as a <gasps> No. No. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. No, it will, I promise. Okay, wait, it eradicates life to the point of it being able to start over. Is that possible though? Scorched earth mentality with a belief that species will destroy themselves. So there were species that came before the proteins, etc. Okay, yes, so that makes sense. I think then my follow-up question is like, but if you have nothing, then you can't create anything. Or, do, or does it mean like literally starts from like worms and like hope that evolution like changes this time around? I feel like if you're always bringing it back to the point of where you started, you're gonna get the same thing over and over again. But I might be, I might be understanding that wrong. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop, ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. I don't think this guy is convinced. I don't think Leviathan's convinced, the squid guy. The advanced life gets harvested, lesser left alone. Okay, okay. He did say that evolution is the harbinger's tool. That's true, it did. Look at this big squid boy. There, wait, there's more! There's three of them? Your confidence is singular. I've earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. Daddy? We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. Not them just saying yes! to get back up there. Okay, I I guess yes. Like y'all aren't even going to give me a boost. You want to give me like a little a little push? I convinced you. That feels big. That feels big. Maybe I didn't do so much convincing as they saw a spark in me. Now you better come up out of the fucking sea. I not us leaving Garrus and Liara to deal with all of these things, I swear to God. If I come back up here and have to fight a brute, I'ma... I'ma throw hands. I'm gonna throw my hands right into Garrus's redacted. Not me just noticing that the brutes have, like, extendable necks. Garrus, if you don't come over here and save the love of your life's ass, I swear to God, oh, Leviathan's gonna do it. Not Leviathan backing me up before my space level. Garrus and I are gonna have words. Oh my God, look, he's running for me. Okay, wait, all is forgiven, all is forgiven. Oh my god, they're so good. They're like, what ship is better than Shikarian? Just 
none. I'm noticing so many details about the brutes that I've never noticed before, simply because not that, not that husk just jumping off. I'm noticing so many more details about the Reaper. Oh, the Reaper. Come on, Leviathan. Is that all they have that's extendable? I hope not. I hope that's not the only thing. That's wild. Their power? Leviathan's power is insane. Damn, this really is like summoning. Shepard, wake up. She's <gasps> freezing. Shakarian moments. Ooh, woo. Crumbs, I'll take them. Shepard, take your helmet off. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. Never. Okay. Okay. Say less. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. He does not have to tell Commander, me twice. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? I found it, Ann. I found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war just like us. It's pretty Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. Yes. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Yes, we love Take to see this. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. I finished reading a report. <laughs> the Alliance wanted to Did you believe it? I'd say we got it. Yeah. Our I'd people will be studying it. it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. <laughs> This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. I'm really curious. Um, there might be more armor with helmet removal options. Okay, we should look at that. I'm curious. Yo, we, first of all, we did it. We did it. Dominate unlocked. Hello, Shepard already unlocked Dominate long time ago. So I'm really curious when this came out, when the, when the DLC came out, had you already finished playing the game? And if so, like how did this DLC play out when you'd already finished the game? I guess we can't really talk about it too much without there being spoilers. So we can talk about it when we finish Mass Effect 3, but I am very curious because I feel like it def it absolutely like goes in the middle of the story, like even kind of towards the end of the story, but I feel like it would be, it would play weird if you'd already beaten the game, you know? Are you gonna give me something? Shepard, I looked over your mission report. <gasps> okay. Say it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. <gasps> I can't but believe this man isn't- to see the big picture. This man really isn't gonna Don't say. Get any answers. It doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Not this man, not telling me anything romantic. Wow, not right now?